So what do you think about this? Yeah? Are you ready for Daddy to fire up the big one? Is Caleb? Mommy, mommy, it's Chinese red yeah. mercury. Yeah. yeah, you ready for Daddy to fire up the big one? And look at all that that wasn't done on it. And mm. all of that will ship out Tuesday. Doesn't even begin to cover what's required. So this is an actual, you know, this is the, the real deal here. It even has the nice hydraulic lifters, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, these, <laughs> these are pretty awesome. They come from China. Uh, the lack of English is, is telling. I mean, there's translations in Chinglish. Like, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's let, look at this thing. So this is their idea in China of a 110 volt cord. Let me let me explain further. Um, ah, hang on a second. Wait, no. What do you mean? Let's remove the zip tie first from this, so you can see in China. Kids, do not cut towards you. Cuts. I didn't cut towards me. I cut away from me. Okay. This is their idea of a 110 volt cord over there. We use a different voltage on that here, but anyway, this thing, I mean, look at, this is, this is one of those things that you just want to, like, put in a museum to show how crazy it is in China. And there's somewhere over here, they actually give you, like, a phone number to call. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> I don't mean to make fun of China. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> Um, I've got, like, in, inside here, there is this label right here. It says terminal block. I had no idea that was a terminal block. And then down here, the equipment non-professionals do not open. Elect <laughs> Enclosure must be grounded. <laughs> oh, my. Um... There are other places where the Chinglish is, is far worse. But anyway, um, so this thing runs on 220 volts, right? Right? 220 volts? X. This is the cord for 220 volts. A little bit scary, scared of that. It claims somewhere on here that it's rated for 250. So we're going to pray that all that works out. Uh, let's see. Plug this sketchy thing in here. Maybe. There we go. And I'm going to take this let's see, where's the plug over here? Where is there a plug over there, anybody? Oh, it's behind the, um, behind the exhaust tube. Excuse me, Caleb. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, pardon me. Come through. can't tell. I am joking around because I am nervous. So, let's scooch over this way. All right. <clears throat> Step one, pray the lights stay on. Lights are still on? Lights are still on. Yeah, lights are still on. There isn't fire coming out of the wall yet. Alright, so that's in there. Alright. Keep an eye on that outlet. I'm, I'm seriously concerned about it. Um. Hmm. We'll be back in a minute, folks. Breaker back here. Let's see what happens now. Watch that outlet. Oh, so the lift. Okay, that is just that's un. Okay, so, we have a laser. We have power. 
we have power, and the lights are still on. Now, one thing I want to show this. Plenty of airflow out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and raise that lift gate up a little higher. Now, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's this is one that you can lift the, the bed. That's about right. So you give me an idea of the size of this. Let me go get a 36 inch piece of wood. Uh-uh, no sir. This is why we spent so much money. So that's uh, that's pretty awesome, and that's all there is to it. I do see I'm gonna have to put tape down or something to grid out where to put stuff. But other than that, we should be good to go. So, laser up and running, cool stuff. Uh, be back when I get the accessories plugged in and do a, a test firing. It's noisy now. Why is it noisy? Do you know why? Yeah, I do. Because there's a water pump and an air pump. It's got an air assist on it, which I guess you kind of need on these. So Hope is going to provide you a dramatic reading. From the directions, what are these directions for, honey bun? What are electric magnetic air pump. <laughs> let's let's look at this thing. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. So so great. So the first page. I'm not gonna even try to read that one. Dear customers, many thanks for your choice of Shangyu ACU series magnetic air pump. For more efficient performance and safety, please kindly read this manual carefully and keep it good for future reference. Hope the pump could satisfy you well. <laughs> Directions for use. Look at these diagrams. I mean, the diagrams aren't bad. The use of power, voltage, and frequencies allows fluctuations plus or minus 10% with the power indicated on air pump, nape plate. Not too high or okay, too low clear. or normal. An extreme damage to the pump. Number two, wording environment temperatures should be within 0 degrees Celsius and 35 degrees Celsius. And maintaining good ventilation and smooth to prevent excessive temperature rise, air pumps should be prevented from rain drenched and soaked with water, not in heat of the sun or the dust environment. Three, before you use it, make sure the earth line is well equipped. Do not touch the power with wet hands. Four, if it falls into water, please cut off the power first, then take it out from water. You must That's actually good advice. You must use it after the skilled workers make sure it's safe for you to use it. You must use it after inspection. Must. <laughs> if you find electricity leak, please cut off the power at once. You should use it after it's repaired. How do I know that electricity is just leaking? Does it just pour out on the floor? <laughs> Pump must be installed flatly, 20 centimeters above the water level to keep it mobile in order to prevent liquid from flowing back and the pump from breaking. Exactly 20 centimeters, no more, no less. You gotta see the picture. <laughs> pump could not bear oil, water, and collision. Don't kick it. <laughs> you should clear the filter sponges at least once every month. What? I have yet to figure out where those are, which kind of concerns me. Nine, the general acreage of the tube should not be less than 85% of the acreage of pump outlet. Try to equip the tube with bend less than 120 degrees to avoid excessive pressure loss effect results. I'm not sure they understand what acreage means anyway. Ten, cut off the power if you do not use it for a long time and put it on the ventilated place. Please operate it about 10 minutes every once one month in order to make sure it's not broken and could run smoothly when you need. 
<laughs> I think we're gonna use it a little bit more than that. Just I sure more hope more. so. I sure hope so. Eleven. If the capacity is reducing, please check one whether voltage is beyond a certain range. Two, whether air filter tube and joint is broken or stopped. Three, whether pump volume valve diaphragm is broken or stopped. If located in the bad air circulated place, it will lead to the higher temperature. The lower volume, please improve the heat diffusing. <laughs> when fault cannot be ruled out, please bring in distribution points or link to the country to the company. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And then there's a bunch of diver, bunch of actual diagrams. diagrams. The question, of course, being <laughs> whether they're actually accurate. <laughs> oh, there is so much. This has been your weekly reading of Chinglish from our esteemed narrator, Hope Finn.